Hello everybody, welcome back to the cabin, welcome back to Commonwealth. Flipper, I've got two topics today, I've got some sales I want to show you as well. One of the topics is a trend, a few trends, that I really don't like very much on eBay because it means we're probably going to make a little bit less money, at least for a while if these trends continue. But you know what? Sometimes you got to do what you got to do. The second thing is a channel announcement. It's not really a channel announcement, it's an announcement I'm going to make on this channel. Let's take a look. As always, we're gonna do four sales, but I'm gonna kind of touch on the topic as I do a couple of these. And then get more in depth with it in just a second. So if you've been watching the channel a while, I've had these for quite a while. I've sold a ton of them, probably, I don't know, 25 total. But these have been sitting here forever. That's the one that sold. And it finally sold. I think it's over like 115, 118, something like that. $112.50 plus shipping. You are probably looking at the chart right now as I'm talking because I don't want to unwrap it. And it is going to be too big for the supply hub tubes. But it is not going to be too big for the 48 by 4 by 4 boxes from supply hub. So we're going to use that and cut it down. And it's a pretty good size one though. So it is definitely going to be over the limit for the post office. There you go. Both of them. And you have to pay the surcharge, so it's going to go out UPS, almost certainly going to go out UPS. And that's a really nice sale, but I waited and waited and waited because this is the kind of item you're not going to get a whole bunch of money for if you do an auction. This is something that you don't want to do a fire sale on because there's only one out there. And I just waited and got some decent money. Now that one did go out 25% off because once something is in the store for a long time, I will put it on 25% off unless it's like incredibly rare and then at that point i might put everything else on discount and like uncheck that one but it was time for that one i think for sure and it got a sale so i'm okay arco rogan robots from the 1980s if these things were like new in the package it'd be worth like 50 bucks but you still got 20 dollars for these guys right here plus ship it now you'll notice that none of these are auctions, but that's one of the things that I want to talk about and you'll see it quite a bit in the next few episodes. This one right here is not an auction either. It is, it's these Trixie Belden books right here. I don't know if I can get them all. My hand's not that big. Well, look at that, I got them. I'm gonna just don't knock over those, right? <laughs> all right, these right here, There's there are two paperbacks, that one. And this one right here. I picked a bunch of these up last year and then I got these this year. Well, not this year, I guess. Later last year. These I picked up in the last one, see, 301 sale. I bought a whole ton of them and these came from the Hillsville sale. Pretty sure that's where I got them, I think. And you know what? They didn't quite match. You know, I wasn't going to sell two paperbacks. It's, see, it's edition four, edition 31. 4, 7, 10, 12, and 15. If you get some of the later ones, the higher numbers, and there's certain special ones that go for really, really good money. None of these were amazing, but they still sold for $22 plus shipping. All right, I'm going to just talk about the next two because I screwed this up the other day, and you know I planned my videos out, and I'm going to ship, do a video and ship on this day, and then this day, and then this day. And I somehow messed it up where these had to be shipped out yesterday, so <laughs> we shipped them out. And they were two, let's see, it was a Jack Lane juicer, which you're probably looking at right now. And it's a pulp baskets blue. We always part those out. There's not a ton of money in them, but whenever I find them with a little orange wrench, I usually buy them because that usually pays for my cost. Then you do that. And then there's other parts and pieces. And, you know, you can make 15 bucks to 25 bucks, depending on how many parts you part out and how good of condition the blades are in. But that's neither here nor there. I don't pick them up. If I have one sitting in my death pile, I try not to pick up another one. That's a good little rule of thumb, by the way. The second item was a Lego auction. And you're looking at it right now. And it went way, way cheaper than I thought it would go. You know what? I made the conscious decision because we got it so cheap to put it out there on auction. I thought it would go for around 50 bucks, but it didn't. Reality is it probably is worth $100. If we would have taken the time to get the manuals, get the right parts, maybe even part out the figures and all that, it's worth quite a bit. But we've made a pretty conscious decision here. We've been selling all winter long, and I really, really want to clear a bunch of stuff out before the new yard sale season hits. 
And so that's kind of what we've been doing. And we've we've known that we're going to take a, a loss on a few things and we've done auctions. And so far, our auctions have done OK. Some of them better than we thought, some of them not as good as we thought. But I am seeing a huge trend in auctions lately. I haven't seen that for years on eBay. And so to me, there's probably a few reasons why. One might be a simple people like to buy on auctions now all of a sudden, you know, what not trend. I don't know. But I think the bigger overall trend is people are really, really looking for deals. They're sending out more offers. I see that. People asking me for a slightly better deal. They're trying to save a dollar here and a dollar there. They're willing to wait a week, wait two weeks, three weeks and get a better deal on an auction item than just buy it now and not think of it. So that trend is probably not so good. And sellers are willing to do it because I think sales have slowed a little bit. And so when people need money and you're a reseller, you start getting rid of stuff. It's fire sale time. I don't think we're quite there yet. And buy it now is the way to make money. I mean, it always really has been unless you have really unique items. But I'm seeing more and more auctions out there. Are any of you doing that? Are any of you taking items you use to put on Buy It Now and putting them on auction? Or are you taking them off of Buy It Now, putting them on auction because you need that money to come in? You know, there's more than one way to skin a cat, right? You can either do promoted listings if you need sales. You can do discounts. I'd rather do discounts. I'd rather give my break to somebody else as opposed to giving it to eBay. But, you know, I understand all kinds of arguments. People that do promoted, people that don't do promoted. I think these are two of the three that I need here for three posters going out. One of each of the Disney ones that we have. I'll, I'll show that listing to you. $39 plus shipping. Maybe. I don't know. I'll figure it out when it's time to ship. But you're looking at them right now. $39 plus shipping. While it's been hanging out with Turner outside. Because Turner's been shooting his BB gun out there, haven't it? Hasn't he? And then he went to go reload, so Wallen came in here for a treat. <laughs> what Turner reloads. I'll get you a treat, and you can go back out. So the Snow White doll that's been in the store for a good bit, I think. Disney classic right there. And sold for $10 plus shipping, and it's going to go out in the shoebox. Perfect size. Hey, look at that. I'm running out of shoeboxes. Right there. I think. Maybe not. Might be too big. I'll have to bend her legs a little bit. Cause that is a little too big but i think we can find a box for that i'm over here looking somebody bought plans for the commonwealth picker shipping table and i can't remember their name so let me find it the name was ben so ben thank you for buying plans for the commonwealth picker shipping table over on commonwealthpicker.com and we got this part part-time picker drawer here let me get these these came from maryland thank you i'm gonna see i'm gonna have to maybe i can get that with one hand i don't know <laughs> Sold one of these in here, one of these challenge coins, US first, I think, army. If I can get in there and get it. So for $18 plus shipping. And I think it's this one right here. No, maybe not. First theater sustainment come in, yep. Fort Bragg, Kuwait, Iraq, Afghanistan, Sinai, Qatar. There you go. 18 bucks plus shipping. Almost forgot about the announcement, which some of you have already heard. I'm going to tell the rest of you in just a second, and I hope it's not too late. Might be, but it might not be. So, sold that battery pack. Getting low on those, right around 19 bucks. The announcement is something that was on John Cincinnati Pickers' channel last night, depending on when you're listening to this. Last night? No. Two days ago? It would be last, well... Sometimes I get confused because we record and sometimes we post the next day, the next morning. Sometimes we post the next morning after that, so it just depends. But the announcement is for the 2023 Reseller Rally. For those of you who were there last time, it was a crazy good time. I cannot wait to do it again. It's going to be a bunch of fun. And Pete and John asked me to help out, which I'm com com just incredibly flattered by. You know, both of them inspired me years and years ago reselling wise and i mean i've been reselling a long time but they just kept me inspired watching them i used to watch pete's channel just constantly you know five six years ago even and i just i get home from school and i would watch it and i'd list and i'd list and i'd list and it really sustained my family a lot of you know money coming in extra because i really wasn't making a bunch 
and I was making, you know, more than I ever had from reselling at that point. And I'm like, you know what, this is, this is, I'd rather spend my time doing this. And, and then of course the uh, YouTube side of it and inspiration as well. So thank you to both of you for including me, but uh, these tickets are available. You can check my link tree. I'll probably have a link below. Maybe you can check the QR code right here. It should be at the top of this QR code link tree. If you want to do it that way, if you're interested, it's in Cincinnati in September, end of September. It should be a great time. Uh, we had a blast last time, so hopefully I get to meet some of y'all out there. Can't wait to do it. Hey, if you're interested, I've, I've got to find some sponsorship for this thing. We're trying to keep the cost as low as possible. Everything's really expensive. And so if you are out there and you're listening to me, contact me if you're interested in any kind of sponsorship. And then we'll make some announcements later. You know, we're doing different swag bags and giving, you know, that kind of stuff. Some of you may be interested in, in contributing to that, and I'd love to hear from you too. So if you are interested in checking it out, the link is below. Now, I do very, very few best offer items out there, but I've been getting a lot of people sending me messages, will you take X? And I don't even do best offers. I, I take them from time to time. And Emily, out of Yukon Ben, got a couple of ET items. Emily, I don't know if you're a viewer or not. I'm just saying Emily because... A lot of times viewers buy these flower earrings. These are true vintage here from Ivan Ivan. Thank you. And the ET wig, ET and drag right there. $7 for one, $7.50 for the other, both plus shipping. And, you know, we like those sales. Multiples are awesome. Just absolutely love them. By the way, these are all, almost all the rest of the bags right there kept a few extra because i was going to do some giveaways but i've had a few people asking i put a few more out there so might be out there we'll see so you know so happy with how quickly a lot of this stuff sells you guys just blow me away sold some b tough jeans b t u f f jeans and i think it's the only pair i had i'm pretty sure it's a recent list casey jeans here 31 i'll have to check the size i'm gonna make sure i send the right one out here I think it's the only one like this I have. It should be 31 something. So we will see. 31, 36. I think that is it. Be tough. $22 and change. $22.99, something like that. Yep, $22.99 plus shipping. It will go out more than likely in this. I find it a better use of my time to ship it out in this instead of shipping it out in this right here even though you can save a little bit of money i think time is money too you know when times get like this sometimes there's some great buying opportunities out there if you got a little bit of a nest egg sometimes people get out of reselling all together from time to time and you might see some of that at garage sales coming up here in the spring and if you're in good position if you've bought well and you list a bunch you might have enough money to buy out some folks seven dollars and twelve cents free shipping that's not a great sale but it's been in the store so long, it went out on 25% off clearance. Got caught up in that. So we're still making a tiny bit. I thought this next one would be a long tail item. I don't even know why I bought it to begin with. But it does kind of have that old Pizza Hut flair to it. If you remember that. And that kind of stained glass look to it. And it sold really quick. I think I paid a buck for it. It sold for $15 plus shipping. So it's not a huge profit. I, was, I, I remember picking it up and remember the sale I was at. I'm like, yeah, I don't even know if I want to do it. But I did it. And you know what? I'll make over $10 profit on it. And that one, strangely enough, was a first-time eBay buyer. I thought that thing would be in the store a long time. And not only was it not in the store a long time, somebody jumped on eBay and bought it. It was their first time they ever bought. So somebody wanted it out there. Reagan's here. Wallen's here. Check this out. You see what he's holding up right there? Tan and a man, by the way. Cool dude. He's holding up hay dudes. What size are those, Dan? You should send them to me. I wear a nine I and a half. I have those. I wear a nine and a half. I have that exact pair. That's yeah. exactly right. Yep. But that's not what this is. <laughs> I don't know what I'm talking about that. But I got to show y'all. I have the best job in the world. My daughter just brought me down a little snack. It's... You made this? Yeah. And people will think I'm nuts because there's peanut butter on top of a pancake. Yeah. I absolutely love peanut butter on my pancakes. And syrup, by the way. So I'm thinking a lot of people out. But what's in the middle what, there? Is that Nutella? No, it's just regular chocolate. But like, I melted chocolate and then put it on wax paper and like put it in the fridge. And then so it's hardened. And then when I cook a pancake, I put the <laughs> chocolate on it and then cover it up. You need a batter. cooking channel. Forget NC Cooker. It's a, I don't know what NC syrup Baker, is. NC Baker, NC whatever it is. 
That's pretty cool. It's like a Reese's pancake. Yeah. Peanut butter and but chocolate. But what's syrup? Syrup. Syrup. It's syrup. Is it syrup or syrup, y'all? I've always said syrup. That everybody in my family says syrup, but I think it's syrup. Syrup. <laughs> All right. Who, who bought something? Abby, Andrew, Philip, Michael. Well, I forget this one. Diana? Diana, Nick, Roy, Anthony, Shelly, Daniel, Lorraine, and Allison. Awesome. Very, very cool. Look at this here. Look at it. You see me. <laughs> Thank y'all very much. If you haven't heard your name, we still have these out. And we'll thank those folks tomorrow. And that one there. And I just put a couple more out. That's it right yep. there. So thank y'all very much. Bye. And don't forget to get your sticker at CommonwealthPicker.com. All right, y'all. We got Turner here with his BB gun. You'll shoot your eye out with that thing, mm -hmm. kid. What movie is that from? Oh, what's it called? I don't know what it's called. It's a Christmas movie. Uh -huh. It's close. <laughs> It's called a Christmas Christmas story. Story, that's right. You yeah. know what my favorite part of that movie is? What? When the kid puts his tongue on the pole. Oh yeah, that's my favorite part. All right, we've kind of decided that Turner is going to eventually phase out as this part of the show, but we just can't do it. I just like it too much, especially when we sell things that you still like. You like that movie, don't you? Yeah, I love that movie. Yeah. Do you like the version of it that's not a cartoon too? Yeah. You know oh yeah yeah, 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 yeah. You like that one, and so that's Genie, and yeah, who's that? I forgot his name. You forgot his name. It's yeah. the name of the movie. Aladdin. That's right. <laughs> and that is boy. I should do a my reseller Genie promo right here. I totally should exploit that. Code Commonwealth, all caps. If you need some bookkeeping help, Turner's like, what are you talking about? Give <laughs> hey, this dog. You want out? I'll let you out. You want to go? Come on. <laughs> Bye. I didn't want to see follows Turner everywhere. All right, so this sold Turner for $10 plus shipping. It sold a viewer, sold a Frank. I'm going to read the message in just a minute. But that is definitely enough for you to do what? Save a dollar, spend a dollar, and donate a dollar. Bye. Hey, now that I got you here, we're going to keep thinking about what you want to do. And this is interesting because, you know, when I was a kid, I didn't always want to do what my dad wanted me to do. Yeah. I want to do what, what you want to do, too. So... Y'all, give Turner some ideas out there. Because you still want to be part of the show, don't you? Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Yeah. So we're going to make you part of the show. Somehow, some way, as you get older. Yeah. Right? Because mm -hmm. someday, you know, I'll be filming you up here. You'll be, like, way above me. You'll be, like, six foot tall because I'm a little guy, huh? Yeah. <laughs> but you know what? You got to do what you want to do, too. Okay. Anyway. Thank you, buddy. There's going to be a lot of people mad you're holding a baby gun, by the way. Oh, wait. Wait, what? They're going to be mad you're holding a baby oh, gun. yeah. <laughs> it's a red rider. But it's also a daisy. See? Daisy red rider. You got it. Right there's daisy. Mm -hmm. How much do you think it would sell for? Though? Mm, probably not much used. I don't think those are that expensive. Okay. So, anyway. Thank you, bud. Bye. So, I get comments all the time. Why do you make your kids do it? I don't make my kids do this. Trust me, I don't. And uh, I've been so fortunate that they want to do this. And I've just sensed lately that Turner sometimes like, oh, I don't know if I want to film a video. And, and that's fine. He doesn't have to, but today he did. He wanted to show off his little BB gun. <laughs> anyway, come with Picker. I lost my career at the start of COVID. I came across eBay YouTubers. You were the first one. First me and my dad found. We have learned so much from your videos. Well, thank you. I appreciate that. He says he's just giving back for all you have given to me and countless others. Also, feel free to read this in a video. I just did. Very good. What's your store here? 22 Street Pickers. 22 Street Pickers. It's an interesting name. It's got to be a reason for it. So thank you. Put down in the comments why you named it that way. 22 Street Pickers. I like it. That was $10, by the way. Plus shipping for those. Hope you all enjoy it. So that was the first one that said, uh, had a message that I knew was a buyer. So if you all want me to read something, you need to put, put it on the purchase. Don't put it in the messages. Because it's just too hard to find. There's too many messages. So put it on the purchase as you make it to me. And this one, by the way, is probably... That probably happened. It's Bobby that bought this. And it says repeat buyer. So that usually means it is a viewer. So Bobby, thank you. If you left a message somewhere, I apologize. I don't have it, I don't think. These are selling for $10. Free shipping for the Breast Cancer Awareness Tack Pin. I got another sticker to put on my wall back there and to put on my wall out in the Supply Hut. Supplyhut.com, code Commonwealth, 5% off. Any order over there. Thank you all for using that, by the way. This is from GG Collectibles 1985. 
Look at this Captain EO shirt right there. That's you and your little one, huh? I really like that. Does that say Mary? Let's see, your family, Pete. Am I reading that right? That was an alarm for my trash. I have to set an alarm to remind me to put the trash out. <laughs> so you're on Poshmark as well. Thank you. Very, very kind of y'all. I appreciate that. And I've got some other things coming here. I'll put these stickers up, share it on Instagram. Uh, let me know your Instagrams if you ever send me stickers, because that's where I share them out. I got this one. This was the first, this is not a high-priced VHS. I actually bought this one. And somebody sent me another one. I gotta open. I think it's back here. I'll open that soon. But this is the first movie I went on a date with. Uh, the first date I ever went on. Was to this movie. And it's got the watermarks. And like I said, not a huge, huge moneymaker whatsoever. But I wanted it for my collection because I love that movie. Anyway, that one and this one was a movie. I remember my grandfather had passed away. My dad was doing quite a bit of work in Hemet, California. And me and my brother went over to watch this movie at the theater next to where he was working. And this is the first version of Iron Eagle, CBS Fox video. It's got everything on it. It's, it's not a huge, huge value, but it does have some value and it's got the watermarks. And so thanks for indulging me in, in my uh, craziness. And people have been sending me VHS like crazy. I cannot thank y'all enough. It's so kind of you to do that. So thank y'all. Sold a couple of cases of, what the heck are they? Winston Ultralight Matchbooks. No bull right there. A little vintage action in those. So for 15 bucks, I think. I don't sell those often. Not high demand, but you never know. Hey, don't forget to check out the reseller rally into September. Link in the link tree. Also the link to the Trash to Cash Vegas Bash. I don't even know if there's tickets left for that, to be honest with you. I haven't talked to Dave in a while, but he didn't tell me they were sold out. So I mean, we've been keeping track and they've been steadily selling and uh, you know, people trying to make up their mind to go to Vegas or not, but that should be a great time too. That is April 21st. Check that link out, and, and there'll be a link down below, I think, too. Or just find my link tree over there on Instagram, and uh, you can get caught up on all the stuff that's going on. Still have some more announcements to come. That's the third one that's come, and we've got another one coming down the road as well. And all of you make this possible for me. So I don't let me ever forget that. Um, I try not to. You guys make every single thing that we do possible, and you're so generous to us. And so thank you, and thank you for the links. It's overwhelming. These companies come to me because this audience uses these links. Uh, like, n and I'm not going to get into numbers, but I can just tell you, like no other audience on YouTube does. So I am just eternally grateful to y'all. Thank you. Thank you for everything. We appreciate you. And I can't wait to see you next.